I trust all is well. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. I have some more questions. As you wish. Tell me about your brother. Anthony was older than I, a dragon hunter who showed what a Pentagast could truly be. I idolized him. I wanted to hunt dragons as he did, even though our uncle forbade it. Anthony promised to train me in secret. We would hunt together one day, brother and sister, vanquishing the beasts of old. And then he died on me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pried. No, it's fine. A group of apostates wanted dragon blood and wanted Anthony to get it for them. He refused, and they killed him for it, in front of me. I begged the Chantry to let me become a Templar. Instead, they sent me to the Seekers. It took many years to let go of my drive for vengeance. I think I understand how you felt. At times, I could not breathe. The rage nearly choked me. I sometimes wonder how different my life would be if Antony was still alive. Would I be a dragon hunter? Married to some noble fool, a mother of three? I cannot say. I take solace in believing the Maker has a plan, but he is not always kind. I'll let you get back to work. 